And then, of course, we've got the crew in the Mara this morning, which is fantastic. Um, it's quite a chilly morning, very cold here. Uh, you can see gloves, beanie, all, all sorted, scarf. <laughs> so I wonder if this leopard is still in the area. I cannot see him. Now, last night, though, we had a lot of leopard calling, um, not far from camp, but I could hear a sawing leopard walking around for most of the night. I'm not sure if it was in Vula. It possibly was. But I'm just having a good look around to see if he isn't perhaps lying in the grass somewhere. So yesterday while we were sitting here, he did decide to, well, he was looking up at, in the tree, but he didn't hoist the kill while we were sitting here. And um, But with him looking up, we assumed that he might just do so, and it looks like he did. So I don't know if a hyena possibly came and, and interrupted him while he was feeding. The stench from that porcupine was quite strong yesterday afternoon. So that probably would have carried and uh, attracted some hyena. And maybe that's why he decided to hoist it into the tree. There's actually nothing left, just a few quills and skin that's left up there at the moment.